Okay, a good question. <laughs> um, maybe it's like a part of me that just needs like nurturing. I'm not really sure. Right. Yeah, a part of all of us needs nurturing. Absolutely. We're not machines, we're human beings <laughs> and we have emotions and we love and we experience sorrow and sadness and happiness and we can get afraid and there's nothing wrong with feeling these emotions. Awakening to the truth of who we are does not mean that because I used to think that when I was with Master Papaji Punjaji, my sad guru, I was thinking that this man is probably never goes through heartbreak, never goes to feeling of being rejected, never feels sad, never gets depressed, never gets angry. I used to think that but the more I observed him, I noticed that he gets angry, he gets impatient with idiots, he gets, or circumstances. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And if his son dies, he, he cries. So he wasn't a machine. But I also realized years after that he wasn't really identified with his emotions. He experienced them, he expressed them when they were happening, but he didn't define himself based on his emotions. Well, sometimes I find sadness to be something beautiful, like I'll listen to like some really like deep sad song and it makes me cry, but I I like it. I like I put the song on repeat and I, I keep listening to it because it makes me feel alive. I hundred percent agree with you. I was listening to this song that I really love and it was bringing these emotions and I probably listened to the same song 500 times in past two weeks and I learned the lyrics to the song for the first time. The only song in my life that I was able to memorize the lyrics. So, and sometimes it brought treat, tears in my eyes. A lot of times it brought joy and I love it. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with feeling sad. It's a very beautiful emotion. It really opens your heart and brings you in touch with a deeper part of yourself. So that part, there's nothing wrong with it. But the fact that you're able to observe, there's a knowing that there is sadness there. That knowing doesn't get affected. You still have the ability to know that there is sadness and you have the ability to know that there is no sadness. But sometimes it's like I find it hard to just, um, it feels, even if I'm like enjoying the sadness or whatever it is that's um, like awakening in me that I feel alive, but like I feel like I want there to be someone else there to comfort me and like have that depth in them or like they feel the same. So I um, like kind of just. Uh, yeah, I, I get that. That. Look, this is a very natural phenomena. We all deal with it. I don't care who you are, where you are, whether you're tall or short, rich or poor, and what religion, what color, what belief system anybody has. There is this deep, sense of loneliness, not aloneness, loneliness. And maybe tomorrow, if somebody reminds me, I can get into it that where is it coming from? And this 
deep sense of loneliness that especially when you're alone, you're by yourself in your house, apartment, traveling, in a hotel room, whatever. And if you're alone by yourself long enough, it will kick in. And that's very deeply rooted to the time we were born. So maybe I should get into that and talk about it tomorrow because we're running out of time. Um, so what you're saying is absolutely valid. And you're not the only person. Almost everyone on this planet is dealing with it one way or the other. And then I just crave to just um, you know, connect with others that also have an open heart and emotionally sensitive so they could feel me, but I don't, I don't see that, so I get disappointed. I understand that. That's why a lot of us are looking for our spiritual community or we joining different ashrams, different spiritual communities, because there you're going to find conscious people who are working on themselves and their concentration, their focus is not the material world and their focus is freedom and love. So this is a very good thing. How about if we talk about this tomorrow? Sure. Okay, that would be great. Yeah, I appreciate you brought it up. Uh, yeah. Hello, Lee, Sarah Lee, are you there? You ask, oh, there you are. Hi. Hi, I'm trying to unmute you. you I think you need to, yeah, okay. Can you hear me now? Or, I okay, I can hear you too. Hi, do you have a question? Not, first of all, very good. Nice to see you and thank you for interviewing me yesterday. I really enjoyed it. And uh, <laughs> we, we had a radio interview. Uh, Lee is from Ireland and she has her own radio show. And, uh, and she was kind enough to interview me yesterday. So uh, the interview, we're going to put it up very soon. As soon as it's ready, we'll we'll put it up. It's coming out tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. Um, well, it's lovely. yeah. I loved what you talked about, you know. Um, yeah, no, listening there, I was just, uh, it was coming into my awareness to, to ask the question, you know, um, how do we stay there? Right. <laughs> Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, like you talk an awful lot about the external and, and it's happening externally. Okay. So, for example, you, you, you brought up a beautiful uh, point. You know, where do you experience thought and how do you experience the turbulence of thought right. in your being? Yeah. So, for me, I don't really experience thought necessarily as a thought in my mind and then it comes in and you know, I'm thinking a construction or about it. I'll feel it in my body, usually in my solar plexus. I'll feel a disturbance in my beingness, in my body, um, usually in my solar plexus, sometimes like a pressing down into my heart, you know, onto my chest. I'll feel it like a heat coming up, rising through my body. And I don't necessarily know how to decode it or identify it but it starts to make me feel very unsafe sometimes in that moment. And I'm trying to stay still and I'm trying to stay grounded in myself. Sometimes successfully, sometimes not. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So I find that how I am is how I would describe myself is having a nervous system that's quite sensitive. Like, so I kind of feel a lot you know, that in that way, 